this video, we're going to go over how to update your fishbowl server from one version to the next. There's two ways to do this process. One is the automatic way of doing it, and the other way is the manual way of doing it. We'll be covering both of those in this video. So the automatic way of updating your fishbowl server is when you start up your fishbowl server, you'll get a prompt like this one that says there's a new version available for fishbowl. It tells you right here on the prompt by selecting next, the newest fishbowl update will be downloaded and you'll have the option to update it. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. This is going to be the location that is downloaded and that's fine, so I'll click next. And then it's going to go ahead and download my update for me. Once that download is complete, I'll go ahead and click Next. Now the download's done, so it's going to ask me if I want to run the update. Now the reason we get this prompt is because if we run the update, it will stop the Fishbowl server. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes and hit or have the option Yes selected and then click Finish. Now the Fishbowl installer is going to go ahead and run through and it's going to update my version of Fishbowl. So now we're on the install wizard. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Accept the license agreement and click next. I'm going to select current visual user and server with client because I'm updating the server and then click next. It's going to ask me for the directory and this is the step I need to be particular on. I need, I need to make sure that the directory that I'm installing this to is the same directory as my old fishbowl. If you want to check that, come over here to your fishbowl desktop icon right click and hit properties and over here you can see the directory so as we can see go C program files fishbowl which is the same up here C program files fishbowl so I know I'm in the right directory so I'll go ahead and exit out of here and click next I always like to click start server on login and next and then I'm going to get rid of all of these desktop icons because I already have desktop icons on my computer and then it's going to go ahead and finish up my install. Then here on the last screen, it's going to ask me for my license key. Now your license key is going to be pre-populated with the one that you had in before. And if you have, let's say, a version 15 license key, that will work on all Fishbowl version 15 server programs. So I was on 2015.2 and I had a 15 license key and so that's going to work on 2015.3 and 2015.4 and any other Fishbowl version 2015 until we go ahead and release an update for Fishbowl 2016. That's when you'll need to go ahead and request a new license key. Since that's done, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And now I'm done with the wizard. I'm going to uncheck these boxes and then hit finish. And I've done, I've just finished updating my server using the automatic process. Now we're going to go over the manual process. It's very similar. Instead of having the, uh, the program automatically download the installer, I just need to go run that manually. So first we're going to go ahead and open up a web browser. And we're going to go to fishbowlinventory.com hover over support and select software updates. That's going to bring me to this page here and I'm going to go ahead and fill out this information over here on the right and click submit. Once I'm done with that it'll take me to the downloads page. Here on the downloads page I can go ahead and select the version that I want. Now we're going to update to 2015.4 so I'll see if I'm on Windows version 64 or 32-bit. Download the proper version and save that to my computer. Once that's saved to my computer, I'm going to go ahead and find it and run it. So in this case, I'm going to go to Start, Computer, Downloads, and here I have Fishbowl 2015.4 64-bit. I'm going to go ahead and double-click on that and select Run. Now, again, while the Fishbowl server, it, while you're running an installer for Fishbowl, you'll need to have the server 
stopped or gone or exited. Now again, when I'm running through an install wizard for the Fishbowl server program, I need to make sure that my server is exited so I can't see a server icon down here. So I need to make sure I'm on the server computer, but the server is not running, it's exited. And then I can go ahead and run through the install wizard just like I did with the other version. So I'll go ahead and click next, accept the agreement, click next, current Fishbowl user, server with client, next. Check to make sure I'm in the same directory. Again, to do that, I'm gonna right click on the Fishbowl server, hit properties, and then over here in the target, I can check the directory. So here I can see that it's C program files Fishbowl, which is the same thing I have in my destination directory. Since that's correct, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. I always check start server on login, click next remove all of these icons because I already have icons on my computer, click next, and then it's going to go ahead and finish the installer. Now again, it's going to ask me for my license key and this will be pre-populated with my previous key. So once again, I have a 15 key and I'm updating to 2015.4, so this key will work all the way until I get to Fishbowl 2016, then I'll need to request a new license key. Since that's correct, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And I'm going to uncheck these boxes. You can go ahead and leave them checked and then I'll click finish. And now we are done updating the Fishbowl server using the manual way of downloading the installer and running it on our computer. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up the Fishbowl server. That's gonna go ahead and start up in the background. And then it's going to give me this prompt saying that Fishbowl is about to run an update of my database and it could take several minutes to several hours depending on the size of the database and the processing speed of the server computer. So it gives you right here a warning, do not terminate or exit this process while it's running or your data in your database might be compromised. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm going to let this updater run. We don't want to stop this updater because if we do, that could corrupt, cause corruption in the database. So we'll go ahead and let that run. And it's finished. And now the Fishbowl server will keep starting up. Now the Fishbowl server started up. So I can go ahead and log into the client. Now all the data is the same. So all the same usernames and passwords will work. When you start up a client that's connecting to the server and try to log in, it will give you a prompt saying that the server is running a newer version than this client, would you like to update now? Now you'll have to click yes in order to get into Fishbowl. What, it'll do, what Fishbowl will do then is it'll download and run an update right on that client and then it will give you a prompt saying that the, server, that the client is going to restart after the update. You'll click OK, it'll go ahead and close the client, you'll need to manually start it back up again and then you'll be able to log in because the client and the server will now be on the same version. If you're not getting that prompt or if you're having trouble with the automatic update on the Fishbowl client, follow the same process, the manual process, where you'll go to fishbowlinventory.com, you'll download the proper installer and when you're running the installer you'll select client only instead of server with client and this will manually update your Fishbowl client to match your Fishbowl server. Once you're done with that, all of the clients and the server will be, all be updated on the same version, and you'll be all set. Once you're done updating all of the clients, then the server and the client will be on the same version, and you can continue working in Fishbowl as normal.